Good morning, guys. So I want to show you a little oddity this morning. This is our maintenance tub. Every single one of our systems has one of these. This is where we attach our skimmer, obviously protein skimmer, calcium reactor, all the overflows from, the, from all the different aquariums in this system here all flow down into this guy. And normally we do water changes and we top off, add in a little bit of extra salt if the salinity is getting a little low, that sort of thing. So this is a maintenance tub. There really isn't anything going on other than maintenance. Now, occasionally what will happen is we have these anemone tanks. You have to excuse the, the iPhone. It cannot really uh, render all this actinic. But there's some different anemones. And what sometimes happens is they make it down our janky overflows and end up in the maintenance tub. So let's take a quick look. Taking a quick peek here. And if you can see down there, uh, oh man, you really can't. There's too much glare from the greenhouse. Okay, there. Now you can kind of see a little bit. See those two anemones that are stuck on that white coil? Those are two mini maxi anemones that have made it down into the sump. Now what's kind of peculiar about this is not the fact that they're in the sump, but just how much stress that they have to go under to live in here. So I can't really remove them from those coils because um, they have like a, a rock hard grip and they're actually attached to one of the inner coils. So it's a real challenge to move them. So again, what's really strange is the fact that they're on these heating coils. When these heating coils are on, I'm gonna swing around this way. Here's our furnace. Those heating coils get filled with 140 degree water all night in the winter. So somehow these anemones are surviving 140 degree temperatures. And in addition, whenever we do top offs or adding an additional salt, it pretty much happens right on top of them. So yeah, it's a pretty incredible uh, little specimen on just you know, taking into account how much stress that they endure in here. Obviously, I'll go back in there occasionally and try to peel them off, but uh, so far they're not really uh, in a huge hurry to, to get out of there. And they've been in there for weeks, weeks. So yeah, it's, if, you, if ever you were curious about how hardy mini maxi carpet anemones are, that should give you an idea. All right, that's it from here. Bye-bye.